who's going home tonight. I swear, turtles have got to be one of the most boring pets I could ever imagine. But not these guys. These guys are very inquisitive. They are constantly curious about what you are up to. Sulcatas are a desert tortoise. Uh, they normally eat dry grass. And that's actually pretty much all they're supposed to eat. Because they're so food oriented, Sulcatas are actually really easy to train. You can see they really focus on foods and they love their veggies. They love fresh vegetables, even though they shouldn't get a lot of them. They're a great training tool, especially just the foods that have the least nutritional value and high moisture content seem to always be their favorites. Whether that's celery or cucumbers, you can use them really easily as training devices because Salcata are food-oriented reptiles and they actually don't mind interacting with you, so they quickly become very friendly and tame and actually seek out attention and um, to interact with you on a whole other level that you just never expect a tortoise or any real reptile to actually actively seek attention and affection in any way, on any terms, let alone on the terms of these guys. When they actively seek to interact with you, you uh, kind of are limited to what a tortoise can do. So we're always looking for ways to uh, enrich the interaction, whether that's with a piece of celery or cucumber or a uh, new toy. Um, sometimes I like to bring the water bottle to them. And because Salcata are desert tortoises, any time that they uh, have an opportunity to get some moisture, they actually will seek it out. So even a water bottle can be a great way for them to get some stimulation and interaction. They love water and to drink water. They will play with the water bottle just the same. So with Sulcata, it's just important to play to their strengths. Um, the things that they actively seek to do, that's what they can be trained to do. So it's it's not so much that they are unintelligent as that they're kind of physically limited to what kind of tricks a tortoise can do. But the more you can find interactive ways for them to be able to constructively uh, do things with you that will help them later when they become 100 pound to 200 pound animals. He is coming right up to impose himself. And I tend to discourage them chewing on my feet because eventually these guys are going to be 100 pounds or even more. Um, it's reported that some of them can get up to 200 pounds. Because Salkata aren't particularly aggressive with each other, they can be kept in small groups like this. Um, males can get a little aggressive with each other during the breeding season. Um, as you can see, they aren't actually fighting over the food, they're just competing for the food. They aren't actually trying to bite each other. Sometimes somebody's face just happens to get in the way. During the winter months, it's important to make sure that they get enough calcium and that they get some full spectrum light. So I make sure to keep cuddle bone down for them at all times. They have a couple different basking areas throughout the room here. Sulcata love to be warm and dry. So that it's important that they have lots of places where they can just hang out and soak up the heat. Attila. Attila. What are you doing? Yeah, I'm over here. Where are you? What are you doing? Yes, you're gonna come see me? Tilla can get a little bit obnoxious about his love of cucumber. That's not a cucumber. That's not a cucumber. There's a cucumber. 
end. Here comes Atari. And this is why your name is Attila, because you are relentless. Attila, that is my shoe. don't care where the cucumber is or whose face it's stuck to. Come here. Come here, Atari. Yeah, I'll pet your head. Look what I have.